In this spare parts shop in Nairobi, Kenya, business is slow these days. The impact of a strong U.S. dollar is felt. It contributes to making other countries' imports more expensive and more local currency is needed to convert into dollars. This is compounding financial distress at a time when the Kenyan shilling is down 6% this year. Sometimes you find that there is an increase of about 10 to 20% in the cost of uh, a spare part within a period of maybe 5 to six, uh, 6 to 12 months, which people are not expecting. For us, like now we're in wholesale and retail of parts, and you find that most of the customers are complaining a lot. The dollar is up 18% this year against a basket of key currencies, according to the benchmark ICE US Dollar Index. The director of this other auto parts store had to organize life with less money coming in. We are continuing to, to lose. If uh, I used to take my children to holidays, they cannot enjoy those holidays anymore because um, uh, the, the, of the weakening shilling. We don't have enough cash flows to play about in the house. Because of soaring fuel imported spare parts prices, some people ditch their cars to take public transportation. To combat U.S. high inflation, the Federal Reserve hiked its benchmark interest rate, forcing other central banks like Kenya's to do the same.